hi guys welcome back to the vlog welcome back to my channel hi there my name is cj i do beauty and lifestyle content here uh fit best talks and you know just everyday life issues going around so today is on 24th of december 2023 just a few minutes or a few hours to christmas and i have quite a lot of coins like i have one shilling coins a lot that i cannot even carry so i want to go and try and change them so at least i can get something that i can get for christmas at least food wise let me tell you something i think this is the only year we have not like saved up in the home bank we normally save in the home bank like for coins and everything and then in december we always open it up and we see how much you've saved even my dowry was saved in a home bank you guys and by the time we were counting we had like hundreds of thousands because we normally just use when one home bank is full we use another home bank so this time we did not we have quite a lot of one shilling coins i'm going to show you guys i want to go i called quick match in the morning and they said that i can just pop in anytime and go and change uh they're quite a lot i'm even embarrassed to like take them look at this i'm wearing this very minimal jewelry uh studs for today uh that's what i'm rocking it's from my store i can't find any of my lip glosses i don't know where i kept them when I was rearranging the house and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna leave uh, right now. I'm just going to come up here and say hi, Merry Christmas, because I know by the time we'll be watching this vlog, Christmas will have gone by. But uh, Merry Christmas, have a blast, enjoy yourself. It will probably be, I don't think it will be New Year though, but it will be actually. And Happy New Year, you guys. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So I want to go then see if I can go to the market, get some chicken. I don't know if I'll find any because of the time. It's currently one. I'm a bit behind on time and all that. That's because I just don't usually take Christmas that seriously, by the way. I take it seriously in my heart. I just don't take the celebration so seriously and everything. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. I look cute. I like how I look. Just simple and cute. And then I'll see you guys when I get back. Bye. Let me show you the coins, okay? Guys, this is the amount of coins that I have. Like, I can't even reach this thing. They're so heavy. There's so many. Come on. There's so many, so many, so many. So, I'm going to try and change and see how much you'll get from there.
so i'm back all those coins got me how much got me three thousand eight hundred shillings yes mm. go and take your yogurt is on the table so you have a bit of shopping i did i got like four yogurts i got hot dogs which you have already devoured then i've been seeing hype on this and i was like uh should i take the spread or should i take the there's the spread yeah mm -hmm. other brands like uh, nutella and stuff like that but they're way too expensive so this is 180 shillings so i figured i can take this because i have the big blue band in the house so there's no need for me to take another one it's just blue band with color so and then because i wanted to make pizza got these capote pizza sauce because i want to make pizza and i do have like cheese that i got some time back uh and then i got i wanted to get the rico choma whatever the choma and the phone is really blah i used to get the choma for rico but it's too expensive they don't have a small size and i was really on a budget so yeah they don't have a small size so the smaller size that they have is for this dry wet and dry spice yeah. one yes yeah. hmm? Yeah, no. it's Take your yogurt. Go drink with your tea. Then I just bought soy sauce for emergency because I have some. I needed yeast for baking the. The thing about me and yeast is that it a day too. It will just die because I'm not a fan of using yeast that much. So I got this for the pizza bread. Then I feel like this bread looks so cute and I've eaten them before. They're actually very tasty. So I got like a packet of that. I got some smokies. Though I have still some sausages in the fridge. And then I got a big bread that's going to serve us at least until the season is over. And then I got marmalade because Brianna has been craving about it. I and bought chicken. You guys have seen me. Uh, at Maziwa getting chicken. It's quite a good size. Let me show you. I want to prepare this. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to prepare it, cut it, and then marinate it for tomorrow. So that's what I want to do. The best, like, the best thing to roast this, but uh, I don't even have a jiko. Or I do, I don't even know where it is. Actually, I do have, but then kwasha jiko jakumoja. It's not making sense. So I'm actually just uh, going with it through the fire so that I can get rid of excess hair. That's what you do. Hmm. Is it showing? The fire. This one you don't remove skin because this one even is can you oven chicken. It. Yeah, because can you chicken you can't oven cook. The best way mm. is to cook for stew. Because it needs to boil because you know hunger a bit harder. It's not like the other one that I normally cook. That one is called broil. wash now it's time for us to marinate it my sister told me if you want your meat to tenderize when you marinate it don't put salt so i'm not gonna do that so i'm going to put ginger garlic inside there then i'm gonna add some spices and then we're gonna see how that's gonna be. hi <laughs> wow welcome back to the vlog it's been a while since i vlogged the last time i talked to you guys was in i think 24th of december before christmas I was cutting the chicken, I marinated it, and we ended up eating it. The next day, I was not in the mood to vlog. Plus, there was actually nothing very interesting going on. 
because it was just me and my my kids and the dad in the house so this time i just decided to spend christmas at home i didn't want to go anywhere i didn't want to visit anyone i didn't want to go out i just wanted to be in the house so today is uh, i think 27th of oh december i have like um blister inside this sleeve at this part it's so painful god and i've been getting them of late i don't know what's up so that's what's up so i was just chilling i did laundry today and yesterday what happened i was supposed to do laundry yesterday but my sister came and i did laundry for her so i wasn't able to do mine so i did my laundry today and then i was like oh by the way i need to finish up on school supplies so i need to go get Zaya his school uniforms it's currently almost around 3 p.m in the evening and we want to go and get his uniforms they're just somewhere close and also get the big girl her school shoes because i've already finished with the bags i've covered the books and i just want to get that and then finish and then see how much money we have left so that we can figure out if we want to do some investments or things like that but i mean my hobby the way we plan things is quite interesting let me receive a call like i was saying we celebrate after we have like we are done with kids and school fees and all that like anything that is in, um connected to our kids we try as much as possible to just sort them out first and then now we can see how much is remaining and then now we can squander that if we have to but mostly we just do investments we don't even squander anything so um i'm gonna go and then what else and then i'm gonna come back and show you guys and then tomorrow also i need to go to town and do a few of deliveries that i have uh that will come and then yeah that's pretty much it as i'm so angry because i'm telling him we are going and you're not even leaving he's just like at this time at this point in my life i feel like i need a car <coughs> bless me mm. i really need to, to buy a car <laughs> yeah I really need God to come through for me in that sector. Because hmm? me and kids, man. Hmm? Yeah, it's not like my perfect uh, strength. I don't have strength when it comes to going around with kids. It's just not my cue, you know? Yeah, so the last time I wore this watch, yo, the last time I was in CBT, I just don't wear watches like that. Like, not i can't wear watch in the house or something like that so i'm gonna see you guys when we get back probably if we're gonna eat out or something no. if we get out yes i am can you give me a shoe hmm? can you give me a shoe you show what you want to show who you want to show no. hmm? this one likes vlogging way eh? Mm. yeah i think i love it like that i love the pigment of this gloss but only if i use it at a light weight and then i add like gloss on top because well i don't know if i told you guys this but when i was in primary school i used to love gloss even i think in high school but high school it was not as intense as in, as as like primary primary like i couldn't miss a gloss i would buy gloss for 20 feeling and you are like perfect you know yeah so i'll see you guys when i get back Me. Okay.
Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Yeah, so I think this is the last day of this vlog. Um, yesterday I left you when I was going to get school uniforms and shoes and everything. I can't imagine, like, my daughter's leg is bigger than mine at this point in time. She's tall. And then I went to this pizza place. Uh, that is the best, like... I've always not liked pizza for such a long time. But yesterday, hey, Jajemelo, it's called Jajemelo. I think they have a few branches. That is the best. I've just found my pizza plug. It was the best. It was the sweetest. I don't know. It was good. It was really nice. It was very, very nice. It was just not the same as your kawaii pizza. The price point is good because for 2600 we got two large pizzas. We got six pieces of chicken and they're big, chunky big pieces of chicken and we had two liters of soda and you had some fries so i think that was a deal it's it's very nice i really i really really um suggest you try them they've not asked me to do this i just feel like it's a good plug uh yeah i want to go to town i want to do a few deliveries i also need to do a bible Yay. hunt there's this page on instagram they sell it's called woman and the world they sell really nice cute bibles but biscuit. then the problem is um the colors they have for the bibles are just off like there's no way i will be walking around with a pink bible they don't have a brown one it was marine i'm looking for a brown one so i'll go in town hunt get also like a good price point and then if i don't get what i like then i'll just order from them like the maroon one that they have but because uh, that is my gift for um, the new year i do have a bible but um i want a different translation because now the way i'm studying the way i want to study the word plus i have the kgv version which has the the, the shakespeare english and sometimes what sometimes it gets tricky to understand to comprehend okay so I want to go and do that. And also, I like I think I've finished up with the school shopping. I only need to get a uh, shoe, 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 what? Shoe polish, shoe brush, and 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 I think a pair of socks for you. That's all I'm getting. So if I get something else, I'm gonna share with you guys. But I only have to put you today. I think also because of your holidays and stuff, so people are not really. I'm also not even in the mood to post. I mean, like a punk. So, like, you get on the phone and post anything. So I don't feel like buying that until the end of the month. So, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. So, i see you guys when I get back. I think that's it for now. Because I'm wearing pretty small studs. Let me just wear this. These are, like, my favorite sunglasses. But I'm ordering some sunglasses. They're coming. They're going to be so dope, you guys. I'm gonna wear these ones because my nini. I need to clean them. My pieces are small. That's it. I want to carry this bag, although this is not what I wanted to carry, but I want to carry this because of the amount of things that I, I could end up buying. So that's that. So I'll see you guys when I get back. Where is my watch and my watch? Oh, and adjust this watch again? I feel like the adjustment that was done was not necessary. Mom, open. It's a bit too tight Mom, for me. Open. Open. Nothing. Oh, also, Zaya moved out of my bed. Yay! We are um, transitioning him mom, now. Mm -hmm. going, don't don't press that. I am going to work. I'm coming. Mom, going to buy chocolate. Cake. You want chocolate? Cake. You want cake? Mm -hmm. Okay. Chocolate. Cake. Let's try. So we are transitioning him from the bed. It was supposed to be done like a year ago. But uh, I think there's just some reasons we couldn't. But now he's ready. I think he's ready. I think at least now he has slept in his bed. For, yeah, it's tight. See, now when I put it here, it's not closing nicely. See, it's not rotating. I can't move it. I can't. I can't. It just stays there. I feel like it's too tight. Wait, let me go. Then I'll catch you guys later. Zana nayo, eh? Zinakaba. Zinakaji. 
the name of the shop is Asanan. Okay. Kasanga. The Kasanga, the one. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Guys, I'm finally back home. <laughs> Can you guys believe that I'm wearing a dera for the first time in my life? I've never worn a dera before. So my sister got me this dera. She was in the course she got me. It's so big. It's so free it's long i don't even know what to do with it i was asking her does it fit you because we're like the same height she's like yeah it fits me i got him like does this thing fit you how do people even wear deras but i like the fact that it's very unique i've not seen this much dera unless maybe in town or in coast or something but it's like a dark green print and white and i really love it so yeah so i'm back and um I just want to share with you just one thing that I feel fascinated about. I'm excited. I got myself a Bible. This so yeah, so I wanted to go and get myself a Bible. And the place that had been suggested for me to go and get a Bible is called Scripture something. I don't know, Scripture Society or something, but they were closed. I felt so bad because I was told there's such a good selection and the price point is also good. But I just went next to and I went to Kasanga Music Shop. You know the Kasangas that they have a music shop that also sells Bibles and a lot of Christian stuff inside there. So I got this cute Bible. It's just a uh, good news. Ile Watoto. Like now this is like more of a you know fancier version of it. And the reason why I wanted this version is because I have the King James Version, which has the Thee Thou Shakespeare English. Uh, and sometimes it's very hard to comprehend. So I, I wanted a simpler version. So this is the one that I went for. And I was getting a similar Bible online for 3,000 shillings. So I got this for 1,300 bob, which I think is a good steal. But I'm also still, when I find myself in town, I'm still going to visit that shop, the scripture shop, and just see what they have, uh, probably. Because I'm looking for a brown or a white or a beige Bible. Uh, this is uh, this is close to brown, so I decided to just go with this. This is also one of my just a uh, color palette, so I like this. Also inside, it's very simple. I like how even the the writings are inside and all that. So yeah, this is gonna give me psych because next year we are reading the Bible very much, and I I, I intend to finish reading the entire Bible next year uh just reading but studying will take a bit more much more time but i want to do that so yeah 1300 bob and i got myself a bible i also got let me show you i wanted to get myself a planner but now river road akuna is a planner's fancy and i i just feel like there's no way right now i'm gonna spend 2000 shillings for a planner so i got this for 200 shillings it's more of a diary kind of thing but now it has like um what can I see? Like months and then they count for you weeks. So you have like January, maybe the first week of January, then it has time. The first week of January, which the first of January will be on a Monday. So it has what you'll be doing. I want to start planning my day and actually planning just my things in general because I've realized that I'm a very rampant person and I keep on forgetting a lot. So I want to start planning and this is nice because it's pocket size the other one that was so cute was a bit bigger and i feel like this is so nice i can put them in my bag the two of them and i will have a good you know uh pack of things so see the color palette is just on browns and dark 
shades of brown and red so yeah that's what i got i got this from the bookshop that i used to get you know that i did a video on last time where i got fancy stuff for school supplies and i got this but i'm so obsessed with this bible the texture is amazing the quality is good it's gonna last me because the cover is more leather than plastic so it's a good one so i'm excited i can't wait to start reading i've actually even started right now and then here i can try to plan i'm just excited about 2024 it's just that this time i don't want to have like a vision board or i was on, i wanted to make a prayer board but I, I'm, I'm running low on funds so i'm not gonna do that i had to prioritize between having a bible and creating the board and just realize this is my gift for 2024 this is the first seed I'm sowing. So I got a Bible as a seed. So yeah. So I don't think the prayer board, it would be necessary. But I'm just going to write things down. And just, I, I just want God's will to work. I don't want to work on my flesh. I don't want to work with my own flesh. Yes, I have things that I would wish to happen in 2024. But I'm also just letting God take control. I'm just going to write down the things that I would wish to have. But like... 80% of the things that happened to me in 2020, like the things I wrote in 2022, December, that were the plant for this year, only two of them manifested. And that is, I gained a more relationship, a close relationship with God. And I prayed a lot and I fasted a lot. And what else happened? And uh, my business picked up, at least you can say that. Those are the two things that happened. So in 2024, I'm just I just want God to take control and take charge of my life. And that's it. So I'm gonna see you guys in my next vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I usually don't have a lot of things that you would love to see, but this is how my life is. I'm struggling. This there is cute, but I'm like, where do I even wear this such big there? I'm gonna have to cut it a bit, shorten it up a bit. I feel like it's too long, but the freeness is fine. It's just the length that is a bit too long, and I need to cut it so that I can just be comfortable in it a bit instead of me pulling it up like this is not fair. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I hope that you guys are gonna have an amazing new year because I'm planning to spend my new year eve in the house studying the word praying and all that so i'm gonna have you guys i'm gonna start a vlog maybe tomorrow or tomorrow's on saturday or on sunday but i'll see you guys in my next vlog bye